Well, it's quite windy today, but uh, I've modified the software, so let's see if it looks any better. So this is normal mode. Seems quite good. I haven't mechanically trimmed the heli, so I'm just trying to trim it now. There'll be a trim offset between heading hold and normal mode. But that's normal mode giving you full rubber. And you can see it's stopping it pretty quickly when I let go. the higher gain. Just on the edge of oscillating there. Right, now to go to heading hole mode. And I'm going to have to return it. I say I haven't done the mechanical uh, adjustment. So there we are. We've got a, that's pretty good. So that's a bit too much gain, I'll just back off a little bit. There it is. Well, I say it's still got a slight drift. I mean, that's got it, I think. So in heading hole mode, I'll just get the gain as high as I reasonably can before it starts to right. So in this mode, what I'm going to do is, I'll point it that way, now I'm not going to touch the transmission now, and I'm going to push the helicopter around by hand, and it should try and come back to that same head end. Done. There's a slight, at the moment, there's a slight clockwise drift. So we're going for that. See it comes back. But that's liberty, you just get rid of this drift. It's going to play with the rudder trim a little bit. Try and get rid of that drift. The amount it will try and come back is limited to 60 degrees. So if I push it down more than 60 degrees out of position, it should only try and come back by 60 degrees worth. Which I think you can see it is, it does. So, now with a reasonable gain in heavy hole mode, it does seem... Uh, but it works. I'm not sure it's as snappy as it should be, but it's probably a matter of playing with the parameters a little bit. Maybe the servo update rate and so on. But I think for normal flying, that would be quite nice, actually. Okay, well, thanks for watching.